Shalom and greetings from Jerusalem. This is Joan Lippis or hashtag Joni in Jerusalem. And I am here for Nevea Ministries on behalf of Lunchtime Prayer for Israel. We're starting a new week and we're on May 4th, God's unique relationship with Israel. For the last two months, Israel, like all the other nations, has been challenged by a unique virus that was filling the world with fear. Almost overnight, the lives of people have changed as every economy is being challenged as much as the health of the people. Now, the Bible warns us that as we approach what is called the end times, God will allow all manner of trouble and sorrow. God is allowing this trouble for several reasons. We can see at least two purposes. One, to warn people that the end is near and give an opportunity to prepare. Two, so people will realize that only God is sovereign. They will repent and confess Yeshua as their Savior. Now, the situation facing Israel in the past was different than it is today, but God's warning is the same. In his final message, Joshua reviewed Israel's history and warned what would happen if they turned from God, just the way people today have turned from God. So we're reading Joshua chapter 23, verses 1 through 16. Now it came to pass a long time after the Lord had given rest to Israel from all their enemies round about, that Joshua was old, I would say so, advanced in age. And Joshua called for all Israel, for their elders and for their heads, for their judges and for their officers, and said to them, I am old and advanced in age. You have seen all that the Lord your God has done to all these nations because of you. For the Lord your God is he who has fought for you. See, I have divided to you by lot the, these nations that remain to be an inheritance for your tribes from the Jordan with all the nations that I have cut off as far as the great sea westward. And the Lord your God will expel them from before you and drive them out of your sight. So you shall possess their land as the Lord your God promised you. Now let me pause for a minute because in today's world, this just isn't fair. This just isn't fair. Well, you know, friends, take it up with God. I know you try, but you see, Israel is not like any other nation. And the reason God gave the land of the other nations to Israel because of the way that the nations had defiled the land. They had brought such defilement that the Lord said, go, I'm bringing my people in and they will know what to do. Now here's the warning. Therefore be very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses lest you turn aside from it to the right hand to the left, lest you go among these nations, those who remain among you, you shall not make mention of the name of their gods, nor cause anyone to swear by them. You shall not serve them nor bow down to them, but you shall hold fast to the Lord your God as you have done to this day. For the Lord has driven out from before you great and strong nations. But as for you, no one has been able to stand against you to this day. One man of you shall chase a thousand, for the Lord your God is he who fights for you as he has promised. Again and again and again, we have to remember, it's not the IDF, it's not America, it's God who fights for Israel. Therefore, be careful to heed to yourselves that you love the Lord your God. Or else, if indeed you do go back 
and cling to the remnant of these nations, these that remain among you, and make marriages with them and go into them and they to you, know for a certain that the Lord your God will no longer drive out these nations from before you, but they shall be snares and traps to you and scourges on your sides and thorns in your eyes until you perish from this good land which the Lord has given you. Look at the situation Israel is now in. So we need to repent. We need to pray for Israel to repent from turning away from God. Of course, there is a remnant, but the vast majority have turned away from the God of Israel. So thank you for your prayers.